Hello, everyone. Let's start the presentation. Uh, a semi supervised value based active and non detection framework in multi very time series for online systems. Uh, this presentation consists of five components they are problem statement, uh, research methodology, and evaluation results, uh, general discussion, and future exploration. First, uh, we go into the research problem. Uh, the user story we face is to detect anomalies in online systems. Uh, usually, the online uh, anomalies can be divided into KPI level, entity level, trace level, and log level. Uh, in this paper, we, fo we focus on detecting anomalies at entity level, such as cloud servers, containers, and microservice instances. The bottom half pages show the entities in, in, in the industrial environment. And taking cloud server as an example. When detecting anomalies in cloud servers, we need to collect and monitor multiple metrics such as CPU usage, memory usage, and IO usage. In practice, we aggregate these metrics into multivariate time series and adopt multivariate time series anomaly detection approaches to detect anomalies in entities. Uh, previous time series anomaly detection can be Categorized into supervised and unsupervised methods. The few existing supervised methods extract features from time series and detect anomalies using feature vectors. <coughs> and, the feature, and the feature extraction approaches towards anomaly detection can be classified into traditional methods, and such as statistical count, trend, spectral transformation, and deep learning methods, which adopt CNN to extract spatial information. Uh, LSTM network to extract temporal information and uh, attention mechanism to select features. And based on the extracted features, previous studies use random forest CNN uh, encoder decoder to detect anomalies. Uh, previous unsupervised anomaly detection methods usually forecast or reconstruct much better rate time series and detect anomalies by prediction error or reconstruction error. However, even though many approaches have been proposed, directly applying them online is still a challenge. The challenges rose in three aspects. The first is ambiguous anomaly definition. Uh, in application, operators usually have different comprehension and preference for handling anomalies. No existing approaches can match their requirements spontaneously. The second is limited robustness. Existing supervised anomaly detection approaches are limited in application due to the lack of anomalous labels, and existing unsupervised approaches are susceptible to anomalous input. The third is low flexibility of model theory. There are millions of cloud servers and hundreds of operators in Tencent. We need one generated service, but the model sharing across entities is limited in recent researches. So, to address these challenges, we proposed SIVE, a semi supervised learning based active anomaly detection framework in multivariate time series variation autoencoder. The contribution can be summarized as four aspects. First, we designed an anomaly de definition based feature extraction mode. Uh, it adopts the degree that a new observation deviates from the historical observations at features, which are available to all kinds of time series and represent anomalies. Consistently. Second, we propose a sample supervised variation autoencoder to identify anomalies in multivariate time series to enhance robustness and avoid the risk of susceptibility to anomalous input induced by unsurprised approaches. Third, we adopt active learning and put forward an active anomaly detection framework, which aims to learn and update the online anomaly detection model from a small amount of highly uncertain samples. Fourth, we evaluate SIVAE using the metric data generated by cloud servers from two different types of game business in Tencent. The experimental results show that SIVAE significantly outperforms the baseline models. Now, uh, we are going to elaborate the research methodology. This page shows the anomaly detection framework of SIVAE and the system architecture in application. Figure A shows the active anomaly detection framework, which consists of the anomaly feature extraction mode and the semi-supervised variational autoencoder mode. 
more details will be introduced later. Figure B and Figure C presents the offline and online system architecture in application. Through this architecture, we only need to update the small amount of uncertain samples stored in the offline database and the online NMDK service will be updated after a scheduling cycle. Okay, uh, the bottom left finger shows the data patterns differences between different time series metrics. And the feature extraction mode is aimed to represent the anomaly with the same degree for time series from different entities. We assume that the observations of the same time series metric should obey the same distribution. Combining with the anomaly definition, the more the observation XT and TMT deviates from historical observations, the more anomalous XT is. Hence, we use a degree that XT deviates from historical observation as feature. And we extract features from three anomaly definition related perspectives. The first is un underlying distribution. Here we're using uh, the new observa observation XT. Uh, uh, we use the historical observation to estimate probability density function and adopt the accumulative probability of the new observation XT in this distribution as feature. The second is extreme value theory. Extreme observations can converge in distribution. Extremers are selected by three sigma criteria and employed to estimate probability distribution. The third is residual. Residual error. Uh, we reconstruct, re reconstruct the original time series and use the residual error to estimate probability density function. And uh, we adopt the spectral residual algorithm here. Uh, then we adopt corner density estimate, uh, KDE, to fit the probability density function and use the cumulative probability to represent the uh, nominous degree. Then here is an example of the extracted features. Uh, F1 is a feature based on the underlying distribution. F2 and F3 are the upper extremer and low extremer feature. F4, F5, and F6 are the residual adder. Uh, the upper extremer and lower extremer feature based on the uh, residual error. Then, based on the extracted features, we use VAE to detect anomalies. VAE assumes that the observed data X are generated by random perfect with an observed random variable Z. Uh, value Z is generated from the prior distribution PZ. Value X is generated from the conditional distribution. Uh, the optimization process is equivalent to maximizing the evidence of lower bound uh, ERBO. The ERBO can be divided into uh, expectation component and a care divergence component. However, this training process of unsupervised VAE is susceptible to anomalous input. If there are few anomalous observations, both normal, observa normal observations and anomalous observations are assumed to follow the same distribution. As a result, there is a small difference between anomalous and normal pattern, and uh, the unsupervised VAE model can hardly detect anomalies. Hence, the semi-supervised VAE is proposed to detect anomalies in multivariate time series. For normal data, the KL divergence and expectation component are consistent with the previous research. And for anomalous data, we do not consume that the observed anomalies are generated by random process. Hence, we do not consider the KR evidence component. And we need those anomalies have higher reconstruction errors for anomaly detection. Yeah. Then we, then we adopt the reconstruction error to detect anomalies in multivariate time series. If the reconstruction error is higher than the threshold, we identify it as an anomaly. In this paper, we use the peaks over threshold, yeah, POT, to select the initial threshold automatically and adopt the greater strategy to find the optimal threshold with a higher AP score. In addition, 
We directly use the EIBL to measure more uncertainty and select uncertain samples. When optimizing the VAE model, the selected samples and co star samples are combined to retrain the semi supervised VAE. Based on the system architecture mentioned before, the online anomaly detection service will be automatic, automatically updated on the same regular cycle. Next, we will present the evaluation result. To evaluate the effectiveness of our proposed model, we conduct experiments with online cloud server data from two different types of game business. The statistics, the statistics of business A and B are shown in the left figure. We combine SIA with four baseline models. When calculating the performance, baseline models have adopted a point-adjusted approach. Hence, we compare both, we compute both the point-adjusted and unadjusted performance for baseline models, and we only can calculate the unadjusted performance for SIA. The performance are present are present in the below figure. Uh, we can find that SIVAE performs best and it is suitable for wide deployment in large online business system. Then, to evaluate the, e the effectiveness of sample uh, supervised learning and active learning, we compare the performance of sample supervised VC and unsupervised VAE. We train the sample supervised VAE and unsupervised VAE using 5,000 randomly selected co-start observations from one business and test the trained model on all observations from the other business. Then we select the top uncertain observations to retrain the model. And the 80 score comparison result is shown in the left figure. We can find that when training sets do not contain uncertain points, semi-supervised and unsupervised may have similar performance. When there is a small number of uncertain points in training set, unsupervised VAE have a worse performance. Besides, semi-supervised VAE can perform better in general. Based on active learning, uncertain samples can allow semi-supervised VAE to represent normal observations better. Okay, now we go into the general discussion. First, we discuss the normal pattern representation. The experiments have shown that semi supervised approaches can learn robust representations to capture normal patterns of multivariate time series, combining with the unsupervised approaches. Here, we focus on the pattern differences between normal, anomalous, and uncertain observations. We adopt principal component analysis to reduce the dimension of extracted features and use the reduced principal component to compare the pattern differences. The right figure presents the principal component comparison among normal anomalous and uncertain observations. Unsupervised model trained by the normal points can recognize those points with long distances from most normal points as anomalies. They will overfeed uncertain points and perform worse. In contrast, semi-supervised approaches known to represent normal patterns while staying away from the anomalous points. However, we do not consider the temporal depend dependency when representing normal pattern. In future work, we can utilize the temporal information of extracted, of extracted features and adopt the airstream network to capture the temporal patterns. Second, we discuss the model optimization with active learning. To optimize the model continuously, we adopt the active learning, which can learn and update models from small amount of data. The experiments have shown that semi-supervised VAE can perform better with a small number of uncertain samples. In addition, SIVAE have a strong robustness when applied to new types of entities and is more suitable in industrial application. When applied to new types of entities, we only need to prepare a limited number of normal observations to train the semi supervised VAE. However, we do not treat the uncertain samples connected at different times as different tasks. When identifying anomalies in future tasks, the uncertain 
samples collected recently will be more important than previous ones. In future work, we may introduce transfer learning and never ending learning to known uncertain tasks and integrate knowledge over time. Okay, we make a conclusion for this paper. This paper proposed SIVAE, a semi supervised learning based active anomaly detection framework using variational autoencoder. The results show that SIVAE outperforms other compared approaches and is suitable for wide deployment in large online business systems. In the future, we plan to examine the state of art approaches to provide a more robust anomaly detection framework, such as in introducing LSTM network to capture the temporal patterns. We also aim to explore the potentials and limitations of SIVA through the testing intention. That's all. Thanks for listening. Okay, uh, thanks, Wong. Uh, any mm -hmm. questions? So is there any questions to ask Huang about his work? Okay, so uh, uh, okay, so uh, um, maybe I uh, have a question here. Uh, just as you mentioned here, uh, you have deployed the system in Tencent, uh, right? In the real world systems, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, could you uh, introduce uh, the uh, effectiveness uh, in the real? Uh, I mean, the effectiveness of your work in the real uh, deployments. And the experiments are measured by the metrics uh, uh, in the real world in the real world application. Yeah. Uh, in addition, when uh, applying this service online, um, the uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. okay. So, uh, uh, oh, I, I got to maybe you have present your uh, effectiveness in the in the paper, right? Yeah, the metrics are, are collected mm -hmm. uh, online. Yeah, these metrics are the real world metrics, and um, uh, I but uh, you mean the effectiveness of the yeah, algorithm or of the algorithm yeah. or the service oh, oh yes exactly the the algorithm the, the the result of the algorithm 